Hey everybody, this is Mark with Full Frame Studios. Today I'm showing you a quick way to make movie credits using Photoshop or Acorn or similar program using Final Cut Pro X. Um, so any program you can make a image file like a JPEG or, or PSD in Photoshop is good. But I'm using Acorn right now. Go to new image. Um, I'm going to make the size of it. So I'm going to go with like 16 inches, like a 16 by nine frame. 16 is the width. Now the, the height, we're going to go really long. We're going to go, I'm going to put, I think 80 in here, 80 inches. Okay. So it gives us a really long, tall file, like a picture. Okay. So we're going to make the image. It's going to be a big file because it's, it's a lot of dots per inch, you know, it's a big file but that's okay because we want it long so we can put the credits and whatever we put in here is exactly what's going to be in your movie credits so you can add pictures colors and everything so um and we're just going to basically make it scroll from the top of the page down to the bottom of the page so we're going to put in all our names you know whatever whatever you want to put in there you know gaffer dp director blah 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 actors and um company logos you know whatnot and um and the file ends up being you know approximately 150 megabytes so it is a little bit big on the file size as a picture but in photoshop which unfortunately i don't have photoshop on this computer um you can make your text and you select the text you can select the all when you when you finish the document and then i believe it's in like layer or something like that you have to look for this option where it says create outlines so basically it takes all your text and it creates outlines and then it becomes a very small file it's like under a megabyte for a big file but as you can see i'm just typing in credits whatever they are and then we're gonna output this file and uh then we're going to import it into Final Cut. And then we're going to use keyframes to make it travel from the top to the bottom. So let's fast forward through this part right here. Okay, so now we're in Final Cut, and what we're gonna do is import that graphic image, which was a JPEG. Um, you, you know, a good thing about Final Cut, you can import different things. And uh, we're creating the file here, credits 4K, standard 16 by nine, 4K uh, movie. Okay, now we're gonna import the image file. Okay, we're looking for um, that file that was called credits so find that right now there it is and we will pop this long file and see i added some pictures in there that's why you see the little black boxes in there so there it is it's right here so we're going to take this and we're going to throw it this whole file into our timeline here we go, throw it down there. So we have our JPEG now in the time. As you can see, it's still very long. We have to enlarge it to make it wider. So it fills up the frame, the 16. So we'll just make it big. We'll go up to 400 is the most we can go in here. But then click on the 400 and then we can go even wider. There we go, there's our credits. So exactly the way we set it up as a JPEG, it's exactly the way it's gonna show up. Now the length, I'm putting it at 29 seconds. I don't want this to be very long, but you know, if you need your credits to be three minutes, make it three minutes, whatever you need, one minute. Okay, so we're gonna make our keyframes. We go to the beginning of the movie at the zero time spot. Then we go to the top right, we're gonna add a keyframe. Hit this button here, keyframe. Then we're gonna move the file all the way down to the bottom. Keyframe, and we're bringing it down, 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 so it's out of the frame. Okay, there we go, 
that's our first keyframe and we're at the beginning of the file now we go to the end of the 30 seconds the 29 seconds add another keyframe and we're going to raise the file up and the easy way to do that is just go the opposite number of this which is negative 12 blah 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 so now we're going to go positive 12 blah 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 and as we pull the timeline back you can see now it's going to start at the bottom at the top and it's going to scroll all the way through and we hit play here it goes here goes your credits now of course you could have put a black background with white letters but for this one we're just doing white background with black letters and it's scrolling all the way through and then you just have to render it out and and add it as a you can just put it right into your movie there you go there's your credits rolling credits that's it file share 4k done If I missed anything, you have questions, go ahead and type them in the comments below.